around. It's getting dull. You know how mother hates dull girls. I do apologize. I meant no offense to you or Lord Darnley. I may as well tell you, you're going to find out anyway. A union with your son threatens Elizabeth, just as we have reached an agreement, a deal for peace. So, I will be marrying Gideon Blackburn, the man that you saw me with, and abdicating the Scottish throne. You can't be serious. I am. But what will become of you? I will live out the rest of my days in England as Elizabeth's honoured guest. I, too, was Elizabeth's honoured guest, the recipient of her hospitality for several long and extremely solitary years. Because you threatened her rule, I am doing the opposite. Giving away Scotland? My child will be heir to her throne, to both nations. And where will you and your husband go to have this child? Elizabeth has granted us a beautiful estate in Kent, overlooking the ocean. Sandown Castle. Oh, you know of it. My second cousin Albert has recently been tasked with secretly refortifying Sandown. Great stone walls, a dungeon, even moats. You are not meant to be her guest. You are meant to be her prisoner. Oh, my dear. What you see as a solution for peace, I see as your demise. I know Elizabeth. After her mother's execution, after her sister imprisoned her, even after this most recent attempt on her life. So you're saying this is a trick? I'm saying that Elizabeth will never rest easy. It is not in her nature. People can push past their fears. You can. She can't. Her popularity will dip. As happens with rulers, people will push for you. And if you are in her grasp, a prisoner in that moment, we can only hope that you have not borne an heir. Or that she takes your head first so that you do not need to see your child die.